Hey YouTube, this is my uh, Paramilitary 2 collection. It is uh, late September 2017, and uh, Spyderco is one of my favorites. And the Paramil Paramilitary 2 is a great knife. Um, collectible, they're easy to turn over, they're just great knives. Um, so let's get started. First off, the uh, CPM S30Vs. Uh, you can get these about 125 bucks now. Um, I have the uh, the four basic models: the uh, the black on black here, full flat grind, compression lock, great knife. Uh, satin blade. Uh, the digi camo with the satin. with the, uh, the coated blade. Now the, uh, the sprint runs and the exclusives. Uh, first up is the S110B in the uh, Blurple. It's about a $125 knife. $150, excuse me. A Blurple something. Uh, this was a sprint run. Available from several places. Uh, great knife, good steel too. Uh, next up is the uh, S35 VN and the uh, Brown G10. Uh, again, 150. That's also good steel. worked in a little. Uh, next up the CPM M4 steel carbon fiber. This was a Knifeworks exclusive. It's about a $220 knife. I had two of these. I traded one. The carbon fiber is nice. Next up, again, the same steel, the M4. This is the uh, Blade HQ exclusive uh, with the uh, natural or uh, jade handles. Uh, this is about a $160 knife. Uh, next up is the... Max in the foliage green. This was a bento box exclusive. Great knife. Uh, I also have this uh, custom made. It was uh, this is a S thirty V steel. This is a blades we love uh, before the paramilitary 3 came out they came up uh, with a technique uh, with a, a bunch of these they make uh, they take a standard paramilitary to put custom scales on it and rework the blade down so this is very similar to a paramilitary 3 and then the main reason I don't have one of those yet uh, was because of this little custom number uh, but this is just a great knife. And uh, I do have a Paramilitary 3 on order. I, uh, I'm going to get get that in the Maximet steel when that comes out. Um, Pre-ordered it. Uh, just waiting for it to be released. Uh, next up, my uh, carrier. This is uh, got custom uh, copper scales on. They're starting to get a nice patina build up on them. Uh, it's a little heavy, but uh, I just love it. It's... Uh, it's the S30V steel. It's just a standard pillman, uh, military with paramilitary too, with the uh, with just the scales replaced. Um, that was quite an operation. Getting it on and off this lanyard hole was uh, was something else. But uh, I may eventually put these on one of the other steels, maybe one of the M4s or possibly the Omax. Um, maybe. Maybe the 
has one. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, anyways, that's it for today. Have a good one, YouTube. Like, subscribe.